Hello everyone, my friends from the past in Newcastle, all over the world, in Harold Bedfordshire, in London, Chelsea, all over London to be honest, where I'm known everywhere. Uh, my new friends in France from last summer and my latest friends in Grave in the Western Isles near Stornoway where I've been for uh, a year although I did spend the uh, summer in France the whole summer anyway I'm about to recite my latest poem which is to do with the uh, the Brexit election, I'll call it, because this election's all about uh, Brexit. And uh, here we go. And uh, bittersweet for me because um, the Tories uh, won a landslide. And even though I'm a socialist, uh, last time I couldn't vote because I couldn't vote for Jeremy Corbyn who uh, shakes hands with terrorists and while I was serving in the parachute regiment in Northern Ireland he was shaking hands with the IRA and Hezbollah and whatever and, uh, and many other things about Corbyn that I don't like you know, which I'm sure you know whoever's listening will know what I mean anyway Boris won on a landslide, which means I voted Brexit when I was in London. I voted against what would be good for me, shot myself in the foot. Bearing in mind I owned a, a mobile home in France, which I have just sold. But also that I was moving to the Outer Hebrides, the Western Isles, who also are Remainers. And uh, so I've done everything against uh, what is good for me. but but I voted for what I thought was good for the United Kingdom. So bittersweet because I'm obviously a loyalist and uh, I'm living in a wonderful place in Grava uh, with wonderful uh, Scottish and English people and, and other nationalities. And I'll be so sad. I think uh, maybe Scotland, I hope not, but I think there may be another referendum. I just pray that the union holds together. But hey, man, I'm an old man, and nothing lasts forever, you know. And just like King Canute, you can't you can't hold back the tides, and maybe um, this tide can't be held back. Let's let's hope not. Yeah. Anyway, my latest poem is called. We think it's all over. Here we go. Does anything ever change? The world goes round. The sun shines. Opinions shift. People live, exist, die. With everyone searching for something better. Some with targets high. Others unrealistic while some are far too low but we're all in the same boat looking for someone to lead democracy gives us the right to vote for better things but we all know you can't trust a politician an inch further than we can spit and how frustrating that we can't just lynch them every time they make a promise that turns out to be a lie. They think we're stupid, mere cannon fodder to be manipulated, but things have moved on. The world is no longer black and white, and if they didn't want Joe Public to ask for more, they should have thought twice before they gave us an education. This time tomorrow, the wretched voting will be over, tactical voting having been the order of the day. And of course, there will be kicking and screaming as heads roll amidst the bloodbath that is the frenzy of politics. And we all know by now, don't we, that a day is a long time 
in politics and no one is above being slain by the masses. There will, there will always be a victor, even when the outcome is hung. But in politics, they don't hang around to watch the victims dangling, just as they never take time to mop up any blood that has been spilled. A honeymoon period for the winner to be savoured for it never lasts long and before we blink they'll be at each other's throats again scheming and plotting changing the playing field promising lying cheating and we think it's all over but next time as sure as dog shit they'll be at it again Joey John McGuire you don't know so busy in here you don't know how hard that was to do, but I think I've said it all. Joey John McGuire on uh, the um, the Brexit election. Joey John McGuire.